crying out loud. Use gentle, soft lights, light candles, let there be music in the background, let there be, you know, nice smells, not necessarily incense, but nice smells. They just, they want to create a cozy cocoon. They don't want to, you are quick to, you are quick to climax, quick to orgasms. You are just rushing your way through things. No, they want you to like slow down, to draw it out. I'm hearing lusciousness. <laughs> Lustiness. They want you to take your time with it. They want you to take your time with it. So even if you are the male watching this, this is what your female partner wants. Or this is what your partner wants. <laughs> they will just want you to come to be enamored with the process. It's not about the end goal. It's not about you reaching orgasm. It's not about you asking them. And I'm seeing like you just in pum 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 pum. I'm being like, okay, we are doing it like. So your partner may not be sexually, sensually satisfied as you would have thought they were. Okay, so that's also why you're choosing this reading and that's why you chose this deck. They want to explore more with you. They want to do more with you. They want to experience more with you. They want to really, really enjoy the romance. There's something about them wanting to enjoy the romance. Okay, so that's why they want to see you more delicate for the females watching this. They want you to see in, in what I'm seeing is like you just being like a Victorian princess, wearing cute, frilly dresses. There's something about you being more feminine that's going to make your that is going to make your partner feel more masculine and help them better sit in their masculine energy. So what I'm hearing is like, yeah, you may be someone who is quite independent, you're used to doing things yourself, or you're not seeing how that is playing out in your relationships. And your partner wants you to ask for them, like, baby, can you carry this for me? Can you open this for me? Can you, can you, instead of trying to do everything by yourself, give them room, give them grace to do some things. <laughs> Give them grace, give them room to do some things. I'm saying like they want to flick you. There's something about your air. Maybe you flick your air usually. Or if it's something do they like it. But there's also something about them wanting to just, you know, just flick your air back and kiss you. Yeah. <laughs> this reading is getting spicier. <laughs> okay. So they don't want you to just rush through. Even if you're the female, you might be someone who is not patient with the process of love making. They want you to bring in more fun. And the fun, they are not asking for crazy fun like BDSM no. The fun they are wanting you guys to bring into the bedroom is more of something more of a romantic, soft nature. The picture I'm just seeing is this darkly lit bedroom. A silk, silk bed is that's so cute. Make sure you get like silk satin bed sheets. Okay, but it's a dark bedroom. It's not. It's smoky. I can't see it clearly, but it's smoky. It's a dark bedroom, and it's like the heat of your body combined. <laughs> the heat of your body combined is increasing the temperature in the room. They want you to bring. They want to bring more passion into your relationship. They want to bring more passion into your sexual relationship into your daily relationship or maybe you're even out of the bedroom they want to spice things up they want to that's what they're wanting but it's like yeah just this very practical rigid straight to the point what i'm hearing repeatedly is gra gra like you're just rushing you're just doing gra gra like just <laughs> pop, 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 finish they are very straight to the point. They are very direct. They are like, oh, I don't have time for all of this. But they are wanting to bring in more spices, zest, in a sense, to your relationship. More passion, more heat, more intimacy. Burning each other up with your glances. Sending risk, risky tests, tests in the middle of the day. You know, 
making them making them what i mean making them flush so your partners may be fair in comprehension or light in comprehension but there's something about them seeing your text and blushing they want to have the experience I'm also you, you guys might have had that experience when you knew you met, but they're wanting to bring that back into your relationship. Like what I'm saying, like they just want to blush when seeing your message. They want to like blush years getting hot. <laughs> See, oh, if you choose this deck, you need to bring in some passion and intimacy and eat into your relationship erotic passion you need to drive your partner wow that's what you're wanting you are, you are being too rigid too stiff why this life is too short why you're being too stiff <laughs> and too rigid you just want a lot of eat a lot of passion a lot of intimate moments like doing things you can never even talk about that way you're trying to talk about both of you start blushing and laughing hysterically <laughs> and it's like they've tried to have this conversation with you but you kind of like you brushed it off or you were not willing to listen that's coming through you can like you know that's not important you need to focus on my importance and those <laughs> and then for some of you that already have kids you are being distracted by your kids and you're not focusing on your relationship you're not focusing on the intimate part of your relationship because you're being distracted by your day to be living. Everything, you have to find a way to balance everything, okay? You have to find a way to balance everything. Let's see. Is there any message in particular that wants to come through? Thank you. I'm going to pull astrology cards as well. Okay. The my greatest spiritual shifts don't come through for us. They come through for them. So yeah, that's the thing. You guys hold your you hold yourself back a lot from sexual experiences, sensual experiences. Like and it's like your partner wants to oh your partner wants to take you to some levels of sensual intimacy you've not yet experienced or they feel like you've not experienced but you guys might have actually not experienced it like there are some eyes you've not gotten so there's some kind of orgasms you've not had there are some kind of feelings that have not bubbled up within you and you're trying to awaken that within you so i'm also hearing like stiff winter cold like yeah like this eyes that you <laughs> And you hold yourself back a lot. You hold yourself back a lot from even expressing your desires, your wants, and they want you to be expressive. They want you to be free with them. They want you to be free with them. You might be someone who tries to um, manipulate is a strong word, but it's like you try to have your way by force. You try to do things by force. You try to have your way. You want to have your say. But there's something about you letting go and letting room for their own opinion. And like, let them lead you to what you've been experiencing before. Let them show you another side. You can't, you are better off catching flies with honey and not vinegar. It's like you try to make them do things in your own way by being forceful. And they're like, Baby, do you know if you just turn me on, I'm ready to do anything you want. But you have e instead of you, so that's where the femininity is also coming in. Instead of you to be soft and you know, get them to see things in your own way. You're trying to be forceful about it. I know it has to be this way. Instead of you to use your other gifts and talents, like. Sometimes it feels like they also hold out. They know you want something, they can agree to it, but they also want you to be wily about it. They want you to convince them, they want you to tempt them. 
They want you to tempt them. They want you to blow their minds. Instead of just being very, okay, yes, no. Boring, practical, rigid. <laughs> Let's see, what's yours? So if you're seeing this, yeah. If you're seeing this, you guys might be water, you might you would have water placements in your chart. Significant. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. Water is significant in your chart. And let's talk about your partner. Thank you for dropping off of the deck. Okay, so you guys might be dealing with a placement, Aquarius. Okay. Taurus, Aries, Gemini. What I'm saying here, you might be dealing with someone who is wild, but this person has had to keep their wildness, their wildness in check because you are kind of like just if you have partners that are unconventional, your partner is unconventional, they have wild, crazy thoughts. They are, they can be disruptive. They just do, they might seemingly do things out of the blue, right? They just, they have ideas and then they execute. They are very, they are very much in their mental space. And they, your partner is someone who, if they want to do something, they will go big with it. They don't do it small. They don't, you might, there's something about you saying maybe they don't think things through. <laughs> But that's not true it's just that we all have our own different ways of doing things so you, you want to you know and it's interesting yeah you're the one with the water placement but you're not tapping into your emotional side which they are feeling they they are more of in the mental space so yeah i'm seeing like aquarius signs sagittarius taurus gemini aries you, you are the water sign. Your partner is either an air sign, earth sign, fire sign. Okay? Your partner is someone. There must also be something about them being very risky, being being very unconventional. They want to try new things in the bedroom, but they're very imaginative. They want to try new things in the bedroom. They want to go wild. They want to try things in different rooms, in different places. And you, you are just like, uh, excuse me, no. <laughs> okay, for some of you, your partners may also feel, you, you may feel like they, they have like different personalities. They are one way in the bedroom and outside, they are another way. But if it's like they, they have even more to show you, but you are not being open to, you are not being open to them fully. There's a lot about them. But you, you are choosing to only see them in a certain way, so you are not allowing them to be free with you in a way they would like, in a way they would really want to, like they want to show you their wild side. Your partner is very wild, sexually wild, passionately wild. They have like a lot of wild thoughts and imaginations. They have a lot of wild thoughts and imaginations, and they want to show you all of that. They have this. Things, this sexual fantasy is like they want to tie you up, lick you up, eat you up, all of those. <laughs> That's this wild, sensual imaginations. But you, you're just like, mm. <laughs> so they have all of this. It's boiling up within them, but you can't express it because you are quite rigid. So they want to take you to another level of experience. All right. Let's see, so you've heard that's what your partner is that's what your partner's secret fantasies. They want to go out with you. Stop holding yourself back. Stop being so rigid. Alright, so let's see. Is there anything that's making you now I'm just going out of scope of this reading? But let's see. Hmm, a shining spells and rituals. So you guys, you might be so in the past there's something about you having perhaps experienced this maybe when you were younger or in your past relationship you were very free very passionate very wild there's something about you perhaps having experienced this passion these fantasies 
that your partner doesn't even know you have experienced your partner doesn't know half of the shit you've been through and you've gone through but it's also like um because of those experiences they kind of like give you they left the bad taste in your mouth maybe the person you dealt with at that time maybe the person misbehaved towards you or just hurt your heart or the archery one way or the other and that kind of like it makes you feel like you having those experiences again with you going through that encounter again okay so that's why you're being resistant and it's not like you see what your partner is saying you hear them but you're not interested because it's bringing up bad memories for you it's bringing up things from the past for you can you see the art she's drawing in the sand so i want you to I want you to play a lot with water. I want you to really, really play a lot with water. Soak it bad. Soak it in the bathtub if you can. Soak in the bathtub. Run your hands around on your arm. Touch yourself. Run your hands on your skin, on yourself. Just feel your body. Feel your senses. Feel the nerves underneath your skin just there's something about you coming back and like feeling yourself through the sense of touch like grind grounding yourself into the present and saying to yourself like okay what has happened in the past was in the past the person the person i'm right now is different this experience is going to be different it's not going to be a repetition of what happened in the past what has happened in the past has been in the past okay i want you to do a lot of grounding ground into your body also for some of you you need to just cry and release the pain of the past and the betrayal i'm also hearing the art the betrayal the pain of the past and realize that this thing now would, would you have preferred to be with that person or with your current partner that's the truth that person couldn't have valued you the way your current partner values you or loves you the way your current partner loves you okay so there's something about you just releasing yourself from the old so even though you're no longer with that person you're still allowing them to control you because they are keep you're keeping yourself locked up in that space and you're not opening up yourself to experiencing sensual and sexual pleasure okay so work with water what has been to help you ill what has been to help you release this past or this outbreak i'm also hearing and help you to ground and ground into the present and into your body and realizing that it's happened already okay you cannot allow that past experience to stop you from you cannot keep allowing that past experience to stop you from this new experiences you should be having okay your partner wants to go wild with you that's the that's their secret fantasies they want to go wild with you they want to do a lot of passionate things they want to do a lot of passionate things with you okay they want to do a lot of passionate things with you it's like they want to just light up your fire <laughs> All right, if you choose this deck, deck one, remember it's good to feel good. It's good to feel good at the bottom of the deck. It's good to feel good. Keep telling yourself it's good to feel good. It's good for you to feel good. Okay? It's good for you to feel good. All right, my love. So if you choose this deck, that's what your partner's secret fantasies are at this time if this reading resonated with you make sure you drop it out in the comment okay <laughs> all right baby just be free see and it's good to feel good be free be open to feeling good let feeling good be your compass just be open to feeling good in your skin okay your partner wants to turn up the heat in your relationship. Stop holding yourself back.
they want to show you like <laughs> if you give them an inch they'll take a mile <laughs> they want to take you to heaven and back they want to show you their wild self like there's a wild side to them that you see glimpses of but you're not fully aware of they want to show you how wildly passionate like they want to show you their craziness their weirdness their wildness i'm saying them sucking your toes sucking your fingers sucking <laughs> i'm done with this video okay yes you're ready if you chose any of the other decks go watch the previous or the next video okay but if you chose this deck Yes, you're ready. Then stay here and let's go through what your partner's secret fantasies are at the time. All right, so coming in to the first, I'm hearing the love, 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 love. I want you to be in love with me the way I love you. If you are not so sure you love them as much as you say you do. Mm. At this time, your partner is your partner. <laughs> Do you really love me? I don't. I'm not feeling it. I'm not getting it. Do you really love me? Are you sure you love me? If you love me, then why are you doing me this? If you love me, then why are you saying that? If you love me, then why are you treating me like that? I'm surrounded by angels. At this time, you guys are... Um, What I'm saying is like you've put what he says that there are guards up around your heart. So that's what your partner is feeling. And your fantasy is like they want to tear down the guards around your heart so that they can show you they want to feel the extent of your love the essence of your love they don't have a full picture they don't have a full grasp of it it's not coming through to them so it's like you say it but they feel like you don't mean it i'm also hearing you maybe someone who either you or your partner so you might be someone who gets a lot of attention needs a lot of eyes on you a lot of um, suitors a lot of people around you so that's also making your partner feel like do you truly love them what about these other people this collective i'm picking up your energy I'm picking up more of your energy. It's like your energy is what's influencing your partner's fantasies. And your partner's fantasies at this time they're really just around love. Like I want you I want to know how much you truly love me. That's what they keep fantasizing about. It's like they are not sure you love them or you love them as much as you claim to love them because it seems like there are a lot of distractions around you that you keep giving your energy to or this feel like you are giving your energy to yeah so you guys may also so there's something about maybe you're also still looking around you're not sure maybe this is the person for you you've kept your options open and while you feel like they don't know they can sense it in your energy so that's why that like you're still playing the field but you feel like oh i'm not exactly playing the field i'm with you i'm your girlfriend i'm your boyfriend but no 
you're still giving attention to some other people in your energy even though maybe you're just chatting with them you're just laughing at your jokes you are still giving your attention away and you can feel this okay you guys are still playing the field and even if you're not doing it consciously you're doing it and that's what your partner is feeling that's, and this might have caused conflict. This might have caused arguments, contra controversies, arguments, conflicts. Like them saying, oh, why are you talking to that person? Why are you talking to that person? And you're like, oh, but it's nothing. That person is just my friend. Blah, 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 blah. That person is just my friend. But your partner is like, then you shouldn't be talking to that person. You should. You should. And you're like, oh. <laughs> it's interesting because, so let's, let's be clear. Deck two. Um, deck two. If you choose deck two, if you choose deck two, let me ask you right now. Do you think your partner is worthy of having you? Because you keep having that question in your head. And that's what is making you keep your options open. And that's what your partner is speaking about this time. Yes, I know it's not supposed to be about their fantasies, but their fantasies are around you loving them as much as they love you. That's just what it is like. I want you to love me as much as I love you. Is that too much to ask for? Okay, so this... For some of you, you may not necessarily be having like third party or seeing other people, but you're making them feel like you're doing so. And that's what's causing this argument and conflict in your relationship. So what's the truth of this situation? I think third parties. There's a deck that flashed in my eyes, mind's eye right now. Is it this one? What about this one? There's a death flash in my mind right now. Yeah, this one. So let's get the truth about this situation. Because you guys are having, you're having a lot of conflict, you're arguing. You're fighting, and if everything is around this issue, you're fighting, you're arguing, and it's all around this issue. So let's see what's the truth of this situation. Is there a third party involved? Is there a third party involved? Okay, so I'm going to ask you that too. If, do you really love your partner? Do you really love your partner? Because it feels like you're holding out for someone else, something else, a deeper connection. It's like you're holding out for a different person, a deeper connection. So if it's that, why don't you let this person know? And that way you free up your energy so that this deeper connection that you're wishing for comes to you. Because it won't be good. It's no good to, or to deceive people, especially emotionally. To deceive people at all, it's no good. But trying to be emotionally corny in the end it just causes a lot of odds for all parties involved so your partner is picking up this energy that's why they keep asking like do you truly love me and you guys are having fights around this and they're like if you love me you'll not say that if you love me you'll not be able to say if you love me you won't be doing that if you love me 
So even if there's no person in your energy field right now that you are perhaps playing the field with, there's just something about you holding out. Old, so it's like your art is 100%, right? So you are giving, this is your current partner, you are giving them maybe between 30 to 40%, and you are keeping 60% locked away. And you can feel that. You can feel that you're just giving them a little bit because you guys are keeping away the 60% for this connection you're trying to call in into your energy. For this connection you're trying to call into your energy. For this connection you're trying to call into your energy. So what I'm going to tell you if you choose that to at this time is to think first, okay? Put yourself in your partner's shoes. How would you feel if the if this if, if the roles were reversed, if they were the ones doing this, if they were the ones <laughs> wishing for someone else while being with you and just using it to while away the time? How would you feel? Would you feel good? Maybe you just need to be open and honest with them about what you're expecting from the relationship or how they might not be meeting your expectation and who knows they might actually like switch things up they might actually like switch things up and show up for you in the way you want but if you keep on holding yourself back from expressing what you truly want then they'll always feel that energy you guys are always going to be having this conflict Then like yes, they might have Libra placement. They might have Libra placement. Also, if so, if you say that this partner you are with is who you want, then maybe what you should be praying for is like okay. Let this my partner, let them be this, let them be that, instead of praying for a totally different person. You just be clear with yourself. As I said, you just be clear with yourself. It's like you've also thought about them, like, okay, maybe you just put them in a box. Like, oh well, no, this person is too, you can't be the kind of person I want. Yeah, so you literally just put them in a box and maybe you judge them for maybe their appearance, the way they look, or how they talk, or what they do. Or you basically just judge them. You've made a conclusion, you put them in a box, and because of that, you've kept a part of your heart. You're like, okay, no, I don't think you're worthy of receiving my full 100% love. You've kept them in a box deck too. So it's time for you to really be honest with yourself. Yes, I know this was supposed to be out, but this is still around. What your lover's fantasies are, what your partner's fantasies are. They want to be they want you to be more in love with them. But what I'm seeing play out is you not you just what I was saying, okay? I'm going to wrap this up deck too. You guys We'll be saying 1626 or 2616, 2616, okay? What I'm going to say that too is think first about how maybe you've misread your partner and maybe you've put them in a box and you've judged them and because of that you've arrived at the conclusion and you reach an assumption that they cannot be the kind of person you want, or they cannot be there for you the way you want them to. First of all, maybe admit that to yourself. Then, to write the list of what you actually want in a partner. Write the list of what you want in a partner that is worthy of your love, that is deserving of your 100%. Then, see if there are similarities between what you've written down and what your partner and have an objective look at your partner and see if there are any similarities. If it's 
less than 30 percent then it's not fair for you to continue to let them hold on to you when you know that you're not willing to go all the way for them it's like this person wants to go all the way for you but you're not willing to go all the way for them you're not really ready to go all the way for them your mind is focused on something else your attention is focused on calling in someone else on calling in new energies on calling in new energies for some of you, you may not just feel like this person can take care of you or they can protect you or they can provide what you want so if it's that just be very clear with your partner and then it believes them in the relationship and that way you free up your energies so you can actually call in the person you want because there's now space in your energetic field for a new person this person you're trying to call in there's now space for them to come into your life okay what i'm really feeling everything is like you guys what you want is no worries right now All right, so if you choose that too, that's what your partner's secret fantasies are this time. That's what their secret fantasies are at this time. And that's basically the role you've played in this situation thus far. So the choice is up to you, okay? But it's not good to use someone as a standing or feeling. If they are not, it, let them be so that you can receive your own person. Okay. All right, thank you. But the bad you guys are feeling like buying a red piece of cloth and buy it. Okay. What your partner wants, what your partner is fantasizing about right now is how you can feel safe in their presence. They want you to take up space. They want you to stop playing small. They want you to be bold, to be fiery, to be passionate. They want you to go in somewhere and all eyes on you. And they're like, yeah, that's my baby. Whoever is watching this, okay, you on the other side, watching this video. Your partner is fantasizing about how else you can be big. How you can speak for yourself. They are seeing you being more vivacious, being more audacious, being more bold, being more out there letting people see you letting people hear your voice talking up and speaking up for yourself it's like this person's like baby anything you want i'm there for you anything you want i'm there for you anything you want i'm there for you what do you want should we kill this people let's go should we burn down this place baby strike the fire or put the gasoline this person is your number one fan i'm seeing them like in a stadium <laughs> And they're the only one sitting in the stands on your side. And they're cheering loud like, baby, go, baby, go, go, baby, go. <laughs> this person wants you to take up space. All right? So if you choose deck three, I think it's also going to be saying 1016 or 1610, 1610016. Okay, those numbers are going to be coming into your energetic frequency. Your partner right now is just fantasizing about how you can take up more space. They want you to know that they are a safe place. So they are seeing you. They are seeing you like this beautiful flower. But right now, you're all fold up. You're, you, you're not in bloom. Your petals are not open. You've closed off a lot of things, a lot of your audacious self, a lot of your boldness. You've closed it off, a lot of your passion. And the reason you close these things off are what I'm also saying, you might have had past experiences, past relationships where your partner has made you feel like you were too much, you were asking for too much, you were being too much, you were speaking too much, you were just, you know, your energy was too much. And that has made you reduce your energy, belittle, not exactly belittle yourself, just, just kind of like shrink, make yourself smaller than you were, not take up so much space. You know, ask for so much, so many things. Not be so demanding. Not be, just playing it small. Not speaking up when people upset you. Just letting things go. <sighs> Those people conditioned you to be what they were, to be what they wanted. You might have been dealing with narcissists, 
people that they want to take accountability for what they truly wanted and instead projected their wants, their desires on someone else and then blame the other person. Okay? Your partner wants you to know that you can be safe, that you are safe, not even that you can be safe, you are safe with them. You are very much safe with them. They are like a garden, the earth, the soil, the ground that your plants, that your flower has been planted in. But you are free to extend your root and they have, they have all the nutrients for you to grow. When you extend your roots into them, you're able to suck up the nutrients from them and then you're able to open up on fall and bloom and allow the world to see you. Like they want to see you take up space. They want to see you do things. Okay, so you guys, as I said, like you're holding on to, and even though you've left the past relationships, there's something about you just holding on to the feelings of the past that is making you feel small. Okay, so you've got to forgive. Forgive yourself for choices you made in the past. Forgive yourself for being with people who could not appreciate you, who could not appreciate your bigness, your boldness, who could not appreciate your beauty, who could not, who didn't have space for you, who made you feel like you were too much. Forgive yourself for being in relationships with those kind of people and stand up for yourself. Honestly, that's what your partner wants. For some of you, you might be experiencing it type of a form of bullying or harassment in your workplace and you tell your partner about it and they're like they can fight for you but they want you to fight for yourself because they know how it's going to free you up and nobody's going to do shit to you tell you shit there's something about them just wanting to see you stroll into your room and taking up all the space getting like all eyes on you and everybody's like who is that who is that who is that i'm also seeing it for the feminines your partner wants to see like this beautiful ball gown that is fiery red and they are shining and they are, your hair is like all up. Your neck is bare. This dress is like off the shoulder. Okay? That's what they want to see in. Off the shoulder. Your shoulders are open and it's a ball gown. And you're entering this one. It's a red ball gown. And you're entering this room and everybody's like, oh, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> That's my baby. And for the masculine is watching this, your partner wants to see you like, you know, dashing, looking dashing in an Italian suit of the most audacious color ever, like red or white or, or mint green, sea green. <laughs> Something that attracts people's attention to you. But most of you watching this here are actually going to be feminine because that's the energy I'm feeling like your partner is their masculine energy, yeah, your feminine energy, and they want you to know that it's safe for you to be with them. It's safe for you to it's safe for you to express your needs, your desires, what you want. It's safe for you to express yourself. It's safe for you to take up space. It's safe for you to stand up for yourself. It's safe for you to ask for what you want. Like they want you to for some of you, like you are free to even give them like assignments or give them things to do or set standards for them because in the past people made you feel like your standards were too high but this your partner saying like baby raise in fact raise your standard i'm sure i can meet them i'm sure i can beat them because i'm all for you so this person wants to be like the gasoline to your fire so when you say baby i'm striking the match you're like okay baby let's pour the gasoline Baby, let's rob the bank. Okay, baby, here are the keys to hack into the security system. That's what this person is. They want to be like, I'm hearing you, Bonnie and Clyde. We're not exactly the criminal mastermind. But this person just wants you to know that they've got you. Whatever your decision is, they are solidly behind you. And you should not be afraid to take up space. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want with them. There's also something about them wanting you to just be more communicative, more expressive. Talk to them. Talk to them about your feelings. Talk to them about what you want. Talk to them about your going to be what you're experiencing. You guys are not being very communicative and they would like you. They were fantasizing about you being more communicative, more expressive, just taking up space, being center of attention. Just being that babe. Just being that guy. Just being the one. Who is standing up for themselves. Who is grabbed. Who doesn't care. Who is living their life fully, purposefully out there? 
we're not trying to hide away, not trying to play small, not trying to be a wallflower, just doing their shit, being on their thing. Okay. They want you to talk too much. They want you to talk. <laughs> they just want you to be expressive, bold. Stop playing small. Stop shrinking yourself. Stop being small. Stop saying, ah, what if I ask for this thing? When they think I'm ask for it. In fact, the more you ask for it, the happier they are going to feel. The more you ask for it, the more you express yourself, the more they want to meet those standards, the more they want to do those things for you. And they know it's not like you're asking somebody else. They know that they feel like you are not asking them, maybe because of things. Your partner, I'm also feeling like your partner is someone who is emotionally safe, very emotionally secure, very emotionally mature, very emotionally grounded. They've experienced their own shit during life. That's why they've been able to go through life with. That's why they are feeling, that's why it feels like they're a lot more emotionally mature than you are. They may also be older than you. Okay? They've gone through their things. They've gone through life. And they're like, baby, you don't have to go through it. You don't have to go through it alone. Let me be there for you. Let me be there with you. Let me share my wisdom with you. But if you're not talking to them about it, if you're not expressing these things, if you're not communicating with them, they have the feeling, they are intuiting it, they are feeling it, but they can't come out right and say it, okay? All right, my love. So if you chose deck three, that's what your partner is fantasizing about right now. How they can hear more from you, how, they, how you can open up your throat chakra more, how you can... Maybe indulgence on conelengos. <laughs> but he just wants you to be very expressive, okay? Very expressive and communicative. All right, my love. So if you choose deck three, that was your message. That's what your partner is fantasizing about right here. All right, so let me know in the comments how this reading resonated with you. You press star if this reading resonated with you. Okay, I'll have a good day. The last post okay if you chose deck four stay if you chose deck one deck two deck three please go to the other post and check out your reading and freedom for what your partner is fantasizing about you right now but if you chose deck four stay here with me let's go into it all right so deck four let's see what your partner fantasizing right now about you what are their fantasies What are your partner's current fantasies? There's something about out of body experiences. Your partner is having fantasies about you guys traveling together, flying together, joining the My Light Club, doing things in the air. They want to go to new places with you. They want to have new experiences with you in new places. They want you guys to travel together. So look at planning some holidays, some vacations. They may be planning it already and working on secrets, working on it in secret, planning adventures, where it's just the two of you. They want to kind of like escape your day-to-day -day life and be with you in a new environment, in a new place, in a new country, in a new continent, to have a different experience. It's almost like you want to, maybe things have gotten a bit stale, regular, dry, stayed, dull in your relationship, and they're trying to spice it up, and they're like, okay, if you go to a new place, a new, a new environment, both of us are going to be new there. So this is them wanting to go to somewhere where neither of you has gone to before. <laughs> okay? And they're like, both of us are going to be new there. And we have, you know, and you know the thing about when you're in a new place, you are different, right? So they want to have that different feel with you, that different experience. They want to have that different feel, that different experience. So that's what they're fantasizing about, like, Making love to you in the mountains, joining, going skiing together, doing crazy things together. 
having out of body experiences together, snorkeling, canyoning, hiking, white water rafting. They want to have like this new experiences with you. Like if they want both of you to do it together, they don't want to do it alone. Your partner may be someone who is very adventurous and they are more of an own body. They are more of a like, mm, but they don't like traveling much. So that's why they are also like fantasizing a lot. Maybe if you've tried to tell you like, baby, let's travel somewhere. You're like, oh, yeah, let's just stay around. Let's save that money instead of time. <laughs> Your partner wants to go hiking too. Hiking on mountain tops. And you guys are making love on the mountain, the clouds. You know, white right water rafting, and you're in the middle of the ocean, and you're making love. It's like they want to make love to you in new places. <laughs> in new places. That's the word, new places. But new places is the underlined word. They want to have experiences with you in new places. New experiences that, all, that you remember and you smile about. New experience. All I'm just saying is like you guys on a yacht in the middle of the ocean. There's nothing else around you. I don't want to hear you scream. Don't scream at me, baby. <laughs> scream at me, baby. Okay. What else? What else is there? What else are your partners fantasizing about right now? They just want to have a new experience with you. They want to have like adventures. You guys go to places you've never been to before. As I said, join the My Life Club. Make love in the air, make love on the mountain, make love in the middle of the ocean, make love in the <laughs> make love on the tree if it's possible. They just want to have this crazy wild adventures with you. For some of you, they want to like have hallucinatory experiences where you guys maybe you take substances together and you have out of body experiences. Like they also want you to let your freak side show. Yeah, so what are you clinging on to? What are you clinging on to? It's like you guys are clinging on to being, you know, you're all stuffy, you're all polite, you're all respectful, respected boring dry just very um, responsible very orderly very and you are clinging it's like you are not exactly that but you are clinging on to that facade because it makes you feel like you're in control mm, so that's it your partner wants you to release control but release control in a like so you've been this way you want to take it to the other extreme so you're not saying oh find the middle ground no they want to take you to the other extreme end of the scale <laughs> you want to so you've been this studious stuffy person you want to take it to the wildest part of you you want to turn your octave all the way what i'm seeing is like air flying up world because you had some rough tumbling sexual encounter in this table <laughs> and <he's sticking. laughs> as i said they want to make love to you in the weirdest wildest newest places but you are clinging on to a lot you guys are clinging on to you are clinging on to trying to maintain a modicum of order or modesty you are being modest for your partner right we are clinging on to that facade of order of being responsible of being modest of not being wild of not being crazy but that is what you're fantasizing about that is what they want to see you might have also been to, drawn to watching the video for the corner or choosing the one keep see like on the other side of everything you are clinging to is this wildness you've never experienced before is this newness you've never experienced before is this experience is this 
you guys know also be wanting to buy more flowers or you buying them flowers but there's something about flowers here like you want to run through the gardens with you okay so deck four i want you to try putting lavender in your pillowcases or under your pillows or bringing in like lavender smell into your bedroom bringing in more flowers into your home is going to really help your family is having fantasies about them taking you in a field of flowers. <laughs> so bringing in flowers into your room is going to set that ambience. Even if you guys cannot necessarily travel to anywhere right now. But they want to travel with you. They want to eat you out in new places. They want to go down on you in new places. They want to travel with you. Like, that's what, that's what they're fantasizing about. They want to travel with you. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. I don't even feel like playing any cards. To be, I don't feel like playing any cards. It's just, it is what it is. So you either accept it or you don't. But your partner just wants to go crazy with you. Like, they want you to scream, Jenny. They want you to shake. When having orgasms, instead of caring about what the neighbors will say, that's why they want to take you to where there will be no neighbors, <laughs> where nobody can hear you. <laughs> that's why they want to take you to where nobody can hear you. Okay, so my love, if you are seeing this, show your partner now your wild side. <laughs> Show them your crazy side. Show them your sensual side. They are more than ready to see it. And that's what they've been fantasizing about. That's all they want to see. That's all they want to experience. That's what they've been fantasizing about. Okay. Alright. So let's see. Should I give you any final word? Anything else for deck four? Okay. Yeah, as I said, you guys might have been pulled to deck one. Okay, so if you've been pulled, if you are pulled to deck one, also watch the video for deck one. I already posted it, so it will be one of the previous posts. So check it out. Okay. Your partner wants you to be free with them. That's just with free, uninvited flowers again. So either either they want you to buy them flowers they want or they want to buy you flowers but they're afraid of when they buy you flowers you'll be like oh that's a waste of money <laughs> no they are not let this person be uninhibited with you let them be free with you let them be wild with you let them be wild with you for some of you this is like This is actually like, this person is like your soulmate. There's something about opposites attracting. If only you let yourself be, you realize that you guys, there's opposite attracting. I'm also hearing you guys are similar in your opposites. So there's a way you just click and connect and become a whole. That if, <coughs> so you are being this, pretentious i know that was a bit harsh but that's what i'm being told you guys are pretending to be modest you're pretending to not have wild thoughts your partner has crazy wild thoughts <laughs> if you let yourself be if you let yourself release what you're clinging on to this modesty if you this piousness piety if you let yourself release all of that, you find out that you and your partner, you are now click better. All those little, little arguments, conflicts, they will be dead gone. You guys will click better. You will also be able to plan better. There's something about you guys wanting to plan for the future. Maybe right now you guys are considering making like a five-year plan. What's the future going to hold for us? Once you're able to let go of what you're clinging on to, you're going to be able to easily come on the same page with them you guys are going to see eye to eye on everything so while they are doing this thing you're doing this you are doing different things but, of, but both of you are working together to achieve a common goal both of you are working together to achieve a common goal 
you have ignition that's why i also feel like so much energy with this reading you guys you really you being together is not random it's not coincidence it was planned out it was predestined you so let's go of thinking that oh no in relationship you have to be kind no you have to be yourself so bring your full self to the table don't care about what society says about this is how guys show up this is how babes show up in relationship yeah drop all of that facade and show up as you truly are it's going to help you understand each other a lot better and move a lot faster towards the same life mission because i see you guys working together on something you are going to be working together on something and what will help you understand this vision is you guys being able to be free with each other being wild being naked being unimmediated once you're able to be naked wild running free you've seen each other at your craziest there's just a way it opens up your heart and your soul to this person and there's nothing to hide anymore and once you're able to do that your soul mission becomes clear to you guys and then you'll be able to work on it simultaneously but you're working towards the same goal but you're doing different things okay all right which is deck four that's what your partner is fantasizing about right now i love you that was sweet <laughs>